Hello YouTube! Welcome to Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works. It is Tuesday the 13th of April. I'm Banded Wendy, your Tuesday vlogger. And uh, do you ever just want to give up, folks? Do you ever just want to say, screw it, I'm done with this? Well, that's this week's topic. So, as always, I suggest you grab a pen and a piece of paper. Here are the questions we're going to discuss. Do you ever just want to give up? Go back to your old self. Tell us why or why not. How do you stay motivated to keep going each and every day? Well, uh, giving up is not an option for me. And I believe one of my subscribers, uh, Sandy77, once told me some pretty powerful words. Never give up, never give in. And I have lifted those and I have used them in my own mental game as well as shared them with many other YouTubers. So, no, it's not an option. I'm never going to give up. Do I want to go back to my old self? No way. Absolutely not. Why not? Because finally, on this journey, for me, besides losing the weight, it's about looking at a picture or a video or myself in the mirror every morning and liking what I'm seeing. My ultimate goal is to love what I see, but I have to say at 80 pounds down today, I am beginning to like what I see. So that's a why not. Why not? Overeating, which is all I did before I had weight loss surgery, makes me tired. Um, it made me lazy. And I just felt grossly full, like I needed to lay down and take a nap. I don't feel that way. Even if I possibly overeat with the lap band, I don't feel tired. I don't feel grossly full necessarily. And I don't want to lay down and take a nap. So I, I don't want, that's a why not. I don't want to do that ever again. Why not? Because before weight loss surgery, quite honestly, I was not being the best me that I could be. And now, for the last year, every day, I wake up and I do my best to be the best me. So I don't want to go back to not being the best me. Another why not. In the past, I tried to win at the weight loss battle. And I would lose the weight, but I could never keep it off. So I'd feel like a failure because the weight would come back on and I would drop the habits that I had created and the weight would come back on. I have a lot of expectations for my weight loss surgery that after I get the next 19 pounds off that maintenance is going to be a lot easier, maybe not easy, but easier than before weight loss surgery. So um, I don't want to go back to trying and losing and gaining and doing that cycle over and over again. Uh, I had a fatigued state of mind before weight loss surgery. Uh, you know, this game for me is a big mental game, and this muscle gets a lot of exercise now, and uh, before it wasn't getting enough exercise. I'm better off to exercise this muscle than I am to have a fatigued muscle. And uh, at 80 pounds heavier than I was, another why not? My body ached. My back hurt. My feet hurt. My knees hurt. I was tired all the time. Um, I don't want to go back to that. That's not who I am. It's, 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 it's not who I want to be. So, how do I stay motivated to keep doing it every day? Right? <sighs> every day when I wake up, I make a choice. I make the choice to be what I want to see in that mirror. To be who I want to be. I'm being me. I make that choice. Number two, I pre-plan all my meals. The reason I do that is convenient. I don't have to think about what I'm going to eat. It's ready. I know all the nutritional information ahead of time, so it's easy to keep track of my nutritional information for the day. And it also controls my portions. So even with weight loss surgery, I work to control my portions. Those three things around meal planning keep me motivated. I pre-plan my exercise. I schedule all my free time around exercise. So when I get off at work, the first thing I do is go to the gym. If I have a day off, the first thing I do is go to the gym. 
Everything else comes second uh, with regard to me getting my exercise in. That keeps me motivated because when I complete the exercise, like I've just came from right now, I feel accomplished. I feel great. I feel like I've done what I had to do for the day. Keeps me going. I reward myself when I hit accomplishments and I meet goals. Very important to me. Uh, you need a little smile on your face for all the hard work that you're doing. It's not just seen on the scale. Um, it could be in getting a smaller size or getting compliments from friends and family or coworkers. Uh, and uh, meeting mini goals like just getting all your water in for the day or getting three strength training workouts in for the week. So, you know, little goals, big goals, whatever they are, they deserve rewards. And then after that, it's time to create new goals. So those keep me motivated. Taking tons of photos. You know, I, I've seen a lot of it here on YouTube. Before weight loss surgery, we had headshots. <laughs> now, my boyfriend's like, you're so absorbed with yourself, self-absorbed. I'm always taking a picture of myself. I post it on Facebook. I send it to friends on BlackBerry Messenger. I post them here on YouTube. I like looking at myself. I, I, it allows me to see the transition and the transformation of my body. Um, I go shopping in my closet and I try on everything. And if it's too big or I haven't worn it or I don't like it anymore, it goes in a trash bag. What does that do? It makes me visually see how much weight I've lost. It also allows me to open up space in my closet for new stuff. Keeps me very motivated. Watching YouTube videos, commenting on YouTube videos, making YouTube videos, that really keeps me motivated. YouTube is my number one motivational tool. Blackberry Messenger, you know, there's a couple of the banded bitches out there, and we chat all day long, and accountability is really, really strong with those girls, and that really keeps me motivated. And seeing my progress, you know, 80 pounds down, 19 more to go, 55 weeks post-op, I want more. I want to see more progress. So all those things keep me motivated. Uh, I'm running out of time here, but uh, we're working on a, a new vlogger for Mondays. Uh, we, uh, Sweet Baby Matt had a short run with us, uh, but due to some family obligations and work obligations, he had to step down. But we have Lauren Taylor, 87, and I'm a fan. She's on Thursdays now. And uh, we got our first uh, Friday fill-in. We got that started last week with uh, Miss Janie here. And Antonio Take Two ended up doing uh, Rosemary's on Monday. So Friday fill-ins are pretty cool. So we really thank you guys all for watching. As always, I love to see your video responses. Do you want to give up? Why or why not? What keeps you motivated? Rate, subscribe, tell a friend. Thanks for watching. Uh, Facebook, it's Proof WLS Works. Uh, we're there on Facebook if you want to friend us. Have a good one, everyone. Take care and stay healthy. Bye.